This is the example on slide 34 of our chapter 16 PowerPoint. And here, they are wanting us to write the balanced nuclear equation for the decay of americium-241. Um, so specifically, this is an alpha decay problem. Um, so we're going to be emitting um, helium nuclei, alpha particles. So the first step in this is basically to write our incomplete nuclear equation. And from there, we can figure out um, our missing item that we are emitting when americium goes, undergoes um, alpha decay. So the first step is to translate this AM241 into an atomic symbol. So on top, so we're going to have basically the format X, A, Z, where X is your element, A is your mass number, and Z is atomic number. And mass number is neutrons plus protons, atomic number is just protons. So this 241 next to our AM symbol is actually the mass number for americium. So to translate that into a symbol, it's going to be AM 241 on top. And then they didn't give us number of protons, but there's a very easy way to figure that out. You can go to your periodic table and look for americium. Um, which happens to be in the very bottom row on the periodic table, the one that's even separate from the main periodic table, AM, and it's got a little 95 above it. Remember, those numbers on the periodic table correspond to numbers of protons. So on the bottom, 241, we're going to put 95. And that is undergoing alpha decay, so it's changing into some other element that we're going to have to figure out and alpha particles. And the symbol for alpha particles is 4 over 2 He. Because remember, an alpha particle, if you've been reading along in your PowerPoint, is just a helium nucleus. So the 4 corresponds to helium's mass number. The 2 corresponds to the number of protons it contains. So really what we're looking for in this problem is to figure out what exactly that question mark element is. And from here, it pretty much just becomes um, simple addition and subtraction. So basically, we need the numbers on both sides to equal one another. So for our second step, we're going to determine the missing mass number of our element. So what plus 4 gives you 241? So I can take 241 minus 4 to give me 237. So that's the mass number of our missing element. The third step is to figure out the missing atomic number, the number on the bottom. So we have to figure out what plus 2 gives me 95. So I'm going to take 95 minus 2 to get 93. And that's my missing atomic number. Is basically the top numbers add up together and then the bottom numbers add up together. Um, so they're kind of determined separately. So now we know we have 237 on top, 93 on the bottom. Now what's left is to figure out what element that corresponds to. So we're going to do that by using 93, which is number of protons. So if you go back to your periodic table and figure out which element corresponds to having 93 protons, you can see that there's a little NP symbol that's 
Neptunium. Um, and that's the element that our americium turns into when it undergoes alpha decay. So, NP goes next to our thing. And our completed equation, 241 over 95 americium, when it undergoes alpha decay, forms 237, 93, Neptunium plus an alpha particle, which is 4 over 2 helium. And that is your final answer.